I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Surrey? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Atham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. Thank God you are here. Prudence is missing. She went out to gather some things this morning and never returned. I'm worried sick. What if she's hurt? I will find her. The dog might help track her down. He has a good nose. Come on, boy. He has been gathering the evening primrose almost every night. She is obsessed with the oil it yields. That is all going to stop now. I don't understand why she wants so damn much of the stuff. She picked some here. She can't be far. We should split up to cover more ground. Thank you so much, Connor. Thank you. I don't want to think what might have happened if you had not arrived. I saw some primrose growing Connor, there, and the bear just came charging yeah, at me. Why are you gathering primrose? Well, Warren and I have been trying to conceive a child for a long time Where now. Are you? I read that evening primrose encourages fertility. I'm sorry, this is not a proper conversation, given the circumstance. I understand. Not another word on the matter. Connor! Anything? Rodents! Are you all right, my love? I'll be fine. Thanks to Connor. Thank you, Connor. 
once again. Mister, don't hurt me. Beg your mercy. <laughs> What's the trouble, Connor? So you tear past chasing a man. He was trying to rob your home. It has been dealt with. What? Oh, the women. I is everyone all right? You should have been there. What? I told you to head back. I didn't they need you? Since when is a skinny runt like you safe out in the bush alone? If Diana's here, I swear you'll be the one. Good, listen. You got what was coming to you. All right? There's no need for this. Yeah. He's a blockhead. Don't kill off in a spell. Just need some time is all. You not angry, Godfrey? Me? <laughs> not at all. Terry's just got himself a temper, and I won't let him get away with it. It's really no trouble. He'll calm down. The runt couldn't do much damage anyway. Does this happen often? Ha! I was just telling Lance how I can set that calendar by these events. It's really not a worry, Connor. But I appreciate your concern. to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the Civil War and be rid of the Crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders.
have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, they're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. We'll bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. Move! Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make we me We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the Loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. And we'll have to remedy that then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Well, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. 
I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. I should make sure the village is safe. Radun Hagedun Zashewe, next to Ohnu Jera. What can you do? You who had dug up Tiga Oya, Lungwe, Ayazene, Sege, Unka Giga Oya, Lungwe. They are Negojes, Charles Lee. ロナトコヤサゴヤトハウェガノドゴダノドカラニハディナホダガノエニホネノワテサゴディダシタナチニハディアユンキユンジャコヤヤテカリホエリオナデラディデザニゴハレヤコンタデザドゴンジョニネギ
Kana kana dogo. Da dun hagedum. Da gwa se tane ka. Na hoda. Gwe gwa mo ha krori ne Charles Lee. Ba triyot de hona da hon zoni ayun ki at want to. Da no gan easy a se ye na wat is it. A toga tigarungwe. Wa haru zi dezat ni gwa denyu. Zi a sade ni anda da squat ni gwa gani. Nek zi ona gan rune de. Zi un gwa no garum de. Te gat ni oska a gi. Gwa nek di un gwa ni oska an zi wat gwa ni ahe zene a squat at da no statsege. I use that nigga at the hunter. Don't know what doesn't want ducks at the Nezungwe that soon. Zadarissa. Unga Dorissa, no, no, Zahayum. Yao Tena. That is a dancer. And she got her head stone. Redun Hagedum, Charles Lee, Mountmouth, was at the Hajib. I saw one at the Masse, Zina Hold and Patriot, Rana de no Uni. Jura Saga, and Sagona Sete. Oh, Doc Tangi, come on, dear Dio. Runo Dio, oh, the Quenu. Unguenungue da Summa. Oh, dear, the no Stadunge. Iwe re ya na wandu ta ingwa ya da no stadunge. Ona wa sadaresa yung jadaro. Position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what. Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That Batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rides away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bon chance, mon ami. Munitions, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape.
Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. <laughs>